Everybody here? All good? Okay, now hit them fast before they know what's happening. G'day, and welcome to Ranico Plays Massive Chalice. So, as hopefully you have seen from the intro, we've been dropped into the Cinderlands to smash the state, or at least many of the enemies. Um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try and pop the only ranged guy that I can see. Nope. Okay. So. Yep, yeah, okay. That said, you've got a 50-50 chance of killing him or 100 if I do this. Alright. Cut. Take it down. Oh, nice. Okay. Now you. I swear I'm doing less damage than I did last week. Or even yesterday. That's an advanced seed. It's got 31 HP. It's way tougher than the other ones were. Okay. And that Twitch is not dead yet. Wow. Okay, so. Uh, we've got bees in a bottle and super heal. Which I guess is what things that's now called. So. Dana actually moves pretty fast, which is nice. Throw ultra elixir, super heal. Okay. So, it doesn't seem to give you extra throws, which is a pity. Okay, so, can't quite make it to where I would like to throw. Um, I mean, I can do the free throw. Okay, that made it. And let's move you back a little bit. I'm just going to turn down the volume a little bit. And let's move you up. And so let's try Prime Target. Ah, that's the range on Prime Target. So it's not quite big enough to basically say, hey, everyone, you must attack me. Advanced seed. Um, I hope that's an interim name. It's just not a very interesting name. Um, I kind of want it to be cooler. I saw a suggestion on the forums which is like, oh, that's the teleport move. Wow. So that was in range. Um, ooh. Nice. So. I think you're going to run back a little ways. And that's a 50% chance to hit. Wow. These advanced guys, I don't like them. <laughs> or rather, I do like them. They're just really nasty. Wow. Okay. So, we start with just pummeling him. Uh, by the way, the stuff I said yesterday about how there is... Um, the skill trees, uh, that was a glancing blow, skill trees have been reshuffled. Still true. Um, I can just take this guy down. Definitely still true. Uh, but it's, um, it only applies to characters generated after the change. Uh, which means that skill information, like the actual tree and tree structures, are uh, stored with the characters, which I think is pretty interesting. Because uh, that potentially means that when you mod the game, and people are going to mod things in this game, I hope, uh, you can include things like... Uh, 
that's a pity. Two glancing blows. So you can include things like uh, there's a thing unlocked in New Game Plus for XCOM, which allows you to have all soldiers have their own uh, advancement tree, which I always thought was pretty cool. Um, so that potentially is something that you can have in this game. Um, I'm gonna try and use the bees. I don't. I haven't really seen them used before. Uh, 95%. That seems good. Bees. They look bee-ish, I guess. I'd give them um, a B plus. Uh, I'm sorry for that pun. That pun was terrible. Okay. So yeah, those seeds are actually quite dangerous. Um, bee stings. And he runs up and he hits. 4-1. Glancing blow. Okay. And these guys can form. That uh, other one, apparently. Okay. And you. And the bees move around a bit. Okay, so let's just take it out. Because with acid even, a uh, glancing blow will kill. Which is why acid is great. Um, is there any way I can charge? Charge does... No, this guy doesn't even have charge. He has prime target, which basically allows him to say, You must attack me. Alright, let's move here. Prime target taunt everyone and increase your armor. Okay. So, this means I can... Don't want to be too close because rebound will get me. But on the other hand, I can just do this. Wait, let me see that pathing. That pathing is fantastic. It do obviously doesn't actually affect how far you travel. But I love that part thing. That part thing is awesome. Um, yeah. So there's a... Um, and I realize that it's been a little while since I started this train of thought. I should really finish it. Um, in XCOM, there is a mode which basically gives all soldiers entirely random skill trees. It is awesome. Uh, it's a feature that I really like from it. Uh, it makes every soldier unique. Uh, they've still got classes and they've still got like a basic class skill. And I would love to see a mod for this game that was effectively that, um, where you keep the uh, individual classes um, main skill, I guess. Uh, like, you keep uh, their ultimate skill, because the skills are not at all balanced with each other. Um, and I guess you try and keep any skills that just don't make any sense for a class. So you wouldn't want to allow hunters to get charge, I guess. Um, Alright, let's have you finish this guy off. Yep, that, that counts. Uh, and you run up and smash him. Uh, you move up. But it, it'd just make... Like, I don't think it'd be a great mode to do a first playthrough of. But it'd make every character seem really, really different. Especially assuming that... Uh, hybrid characters have slightly different skill trees, so you're going to have a bigger pool of skills to draw from. Uh, we'll see how everything goes, but I just think that would be really cool to kind of play around with. Uh, this map, which means there's stuff down there. Oh yeah, that's right. That's why I couldn't hide. Because that guy hadn't actually died from acid yet. I'm going to stay away from those bees. Those bees do a lot of damage relative to my hero health. Um, so Hannah's up my first level 9 character ever in this game. Are you still having your Asper attack? Seriously? 
Ocarina? You didn't sprint last time. I'm pretty sure you didn't. Wow! Also, she has a lot of siblings. Did you see that? That is... 16 siblings. She's part of a big family. Uh, whoops, I meant to stealth there. Oh well. Uh, I mostly want you to stop having a asthma attack, so... Um, nothing down there at this point. Anyway, you are not actually moving this time. Because you're just gonna have asthma and die. Figuratively, not literally, thankfully, but still. Let's not encourage it. And... Really want me to move you. Okay. There we go. And yeah, that's more like it. Although I'm gonna continue to do to move you that way. I'm gonna need to check down here. I'm pretty sure there's nothing down there then. So, time to do a bit more map exploration. Thanks to stealth, I can do it pretty easily. Just one enemy seed. I still haven't seen the kind of damage those guys can do. But potentially, this could be pretty painful. Since I hit them, I've got a 1 in 2 chance of hitting. But, let's try. And you miss. And you waste the ability and everything. But, oh well. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. See if they can reach. Uh, new. So potentially, I could do. Really? Wow, that reaches so far. Karina, do you have eagle eye? Uh, skills. You do. Oh, you got dead eye rather. Um, yeah. No. Let's blind these guys. Explore a little bit. Blind them. Sounds good to me. Unfortunately, our cave jack is off in the distance. Hey, wait for me! Wait for me! Oh yeah! So, oh hi, cradle. Um, kind of wondering if the bees do acid. Oh wow! I don't even need the acid. Wow, you do a lot of damage. That's awesome. Um, don't mind me. I'm just going to be over here uh, doing uh, that thing. Um, yeah, definitely. Just, just ignore me. Everything is fine. Let's see. I suspect I was already at my maximum two hit chance. Wow, those guys are dodgy. But still, can't hurt. Huh, there's another lapse. Those guys, because, um, I mean, I suspect there's an advanced form that'll show up at some point. But until that shows up, like, Really not fussed about them. Okay. Let me see something. Nah, I can't make it. I'm gonna smack it. I could do other stuff. But this seems like fun. 
fifth. A look a seed. Now. You move up. Yeah. This is great if you li you're lined up perfectly. So that you explode and knock her into a tree. And him into another thing. Yeah. Perfect. And then I could fight them, or I could do this. Ah. Okay, so I can completely ignore that cradle. Unless I want to. Oh, that was a nice miss. Um, so, charge. I don't even ha I keep forgetting that I do not have charge. Alright, let's use knockback. Um, get Elizabeth another kill, probably. Other option would be to run up on logjam. No, I can't do that. Logjam takes place of a move. But let's run up knockback. Nice. Lapses are so satisfying to kill. There's just something about that death rattle that I love. Well, you deserve anything that guy gives you. Yep. Deserve it. Don't want to be a terrible person or anything, but I don't like him. Um, Alright, let's run up and bash. Why am I bothering? Why am I even bothering? Why not just do this? I've got heaps of flasks left, and I'm pretty sure there are two guys left on the map. And that does nuts damage. It's awesome. Ow. Yeah, that's... I'm glad you guys don't crit. So this will let me actually look at their stats. Accuracy, evasion 35%. That's what's really causing me problems here. All oh, right, that became that Giza showed up and it was inconvenient. All right, that should be the end. Unless I've missed something. Nope, there we go. And okay. three people leveled at the end of that. Bit, but... Yeah. Cut. Uh, let's see. Deadeye or Scoot and Shoot. I'm going to go with Deadeye. Um, maybe on Friday we will see the reshuffled skill tree. Although I don't think Hunters are affected so much. But it would be great. It, I'd love to see like um, the level 2 skills, 4 and 8 skills like shuffled between the classes where Scoot and Shoot allows you to um, just move after hitting someone and k after taking an enemy out um, yeah, that kind of thing yep, that's my first threefer Erica shows up so if this property gets attacked I'm gonna save the Zillix um, if otherwise um, I guess it'll be the others but three province attacks are always bad like the worst the best thing that can happen is I end up with one region more um, wor like two regions worse off like there's not really much I can do all right region of long views down we've got three the Vaughns have just never been very fertile so I need to go with the high fertile character here even though I mean she's bountiful that's what is making her more fertile. Okay, yep, Dana. In. Uh, Killian, what you got? Bountiful, Kingmaker, Reveler, uh, Hawkeye. Yep, done. Done. Two bountiful characters. They should hopefully have a fair number of kids. Uh, and let's see how we go. And there's death. There's another coming of age. 
Coming of age. Where are the kids, guys? One kid. Gabri has died. He had a relic. Seductress. Not a very high level relic. We need to definitely need to work on that problem. So none of the others have it. Karina is a pretty good candidate, although she's also a pretty good candidate for being the new uh, character. Uh, the new regent. So I'm going to in fact give it to um oh man this guy is awesome and 16 uh, alright what I'm gonna do is I will put Karina in eat and I will give Matthew this item that's what I think I will do and then we can go uh, I'll give Karina yeah I'll put Karina in the keep and I'll give Matthew the item I'll lose Karina also bountiful no Matthew you you get to uh, inherit the throne okay I'm just gonna quickly can't equip ah uh, yes I can I'm gonna give you veil armor so I haven't seen it yet, but the the keeps themselves can be attacked. The buildings themse themselves can uh, be attacked by our, uh, by the cadence. So I'm just going to quickly go through uh, and give him a skill set. Confirm. Okay. So one of the things I could do. Um, wait, choose a partner. Uh, so Dana, that will give us a bunch of Tranquil and Avenger. Those are great traits to pass through. Um, okay. Dana, or I could go with Erica. Erica's got some nice traits too. Um, got not as many as I thought I would. Uh, I'm going to put Dana in. Super high chance for kids, and they end up with that. Okay, there we go. So, are any of these kids? Oh, these kids are hunters. So, um, all right. You guys haven't had kids. Why not? I've had this problem with this keep for quite a while. Uh, it's legacy. There are no trainees. Yeah. Um, you are alchemists. So you've got three trainees. Let's just have a quick look at our ten-year-olds. So they don't... Ah, oh, you can't give ten-year-olds anything. Okay. Moving on. Hey, babies. There's still none down here. Seriously. And deaths. Okay. Lissetti. The White Lie. Okay, so. She's come of age. So you can see that the extra item slot is actually showing up earlier in the tree. So now it's a choice between throw and acid, which is a much more interesting choice. And Spirit of the Dark Falcon is apparently really good because of that increased range and accuracy. Um, which used to be Eagle Eye. So yeah, Emily, actually, those are some interesting choices we got. Uh, I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to try Spirit and Throw and Bees. Oh, uh, so Emily, you also can get your white light. Uh, appoint new regent. Right. This is why I should have looked through these things. Uh, Tony is going up there. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to 
go with Emma. Everything else I can handle when it comes to that situation arising. So, Emma, there you go. You are married. You are married to a kid th three years younger than you. I promised. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna adopt into this household. I don't know why they are not having any kids. They should be having children. The chance for kids was super high. It's not like. I accidentally married an infertile person into that house. Zachris of the Sage Rights Guild. Okay. Cut. I could pass on your relic now. Um, you're pretty good, but you're just like not that. Um, I could put Sky in. I'm gonna put Sky in. Is 55. I'm starting to have heroes that are like making it all the way to the end of their natural life without fulfilling a strategic role or necessarily even fighting ah. the ostrich. Seems like this came just in time. You were starting to get that look. What look? <laughs> I had the same face for years. People always said it was rather inviting. I wasn't okay. talking about yours. Right. Oh. The ostrich. Net shakes you awake. There's a passenger ostrich outside the capital. You immediately look in your mind's eye, and after a few seconds of searching, you see it. The blue beak, the long neck, the magnificent red plumage, the great bird isn't uh, extinct after all. Uh, let's go with sending Netch to catch it. Uh, ready and willing. Well, that was easy. Uh, as soon as the capital doors open, the bird rushed into the courtyard and sits down with what can only be described as a delighted expression. Plans for a more suitable enclosure are quickly drawn up, and when construction begins at night, you're flooded with hundreds of requests from citizens of the Audrid Augurs who wish to help. Apparently the ostrich is a sacred bird there. Awesome! So, that's the Augurs, I guess? Um, yes. Okay. So that means there's still only got two provinces that are in danger. And... Research. Ah, uh, no. Kip died. Homewood. That is an awesome relic. Okay. Tora. You... Okay, I'm gonna give it to you, Tora. Go for it. Okay, and now... Um, like a level 9 character who I'm going to put in that keep position, in that standard position. Once I start having level 10 heroes, I think that will be really great. Um, okay, 32 days. Rhyme cap cabers are finished. Excellent. So, those cabers. Right, now, first time I'm going to do this, I'm going to adopt a baby boy into the uh, Vaughn household down there. They need some kids. I don't know why they are. N they never seem to have them. Okay, uh, level five alchemist or a newborn baby girl. Let's go with this one. I think that's a free adoption. And so I'm gonna pick the party, save the game, and we will come back, and it will be Friday, effectively. Uh, so, Emily, you just got your white lie recently. Let's put you in. You need to use your white lie. Uh, we'll give you your advanced armor. And we will give you a sponge stone. Okay, uh, Liz. Gonna have you have a ram cap cable. Uh, we'll give you. You've got the advanced armor on already, and sponge stone. Yep, yeah, sure. Let's do that. Uh, now we need Bryce. Maybe. Uh, you don't. Um, wait. Let's just quickly check. People available with relics. Tara. Yes. Um, Tara and Jalen. 
So Jalen could really do with like actually getting his level his relic up. I don't think the Zilix have a particularly high level relic. On the other hand, um, so what if I put both of them in? So I put uh, we put in Tara. She's pretty good. Give her homeward. We give her her veil armor. And we give her a sponge stone. Ooh, maybe the steady. And uh Let's go with the steady hander. Because we're starting to fight enemies that are irritatingly dodgy. Now, uh, we'll replace him with Jalen. You need to keep casket nail out. You'll also have the veil armor. And so this would be great, is if there was a thing in the interface to say, these are the default items I want people to be equipped with from this class. And then I can make changes. But the very first time they show up here, they should get equipped with those items. That's what I would love to see. I'm gonna give you a steady hand also. Now, uh and then skills. We'll give you follow-up, we'll give you home hearing, flero, and dead eye. And cut. What do we have with you? No, nope, we will do this. Alright, so this is our team. Uh, we will send them off, and next time we will get to see how that all goes.